to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under with the Combat Arms Top 5 Plays of the Week, Week 136. To all the people that have been asking, is UCD dead? I just graduated high school and I've got final exams in about one week, so I'm a little bit busy at the moment. But after that, I guarantee daily uploads for you guys. Coming in at number 5, we have got Muhammad Am Amur. Can't pronounce your name, I'm very sorry, but he's on Oil Rig Spy Hunt. He's currently got a nade in his hand, drops it on the ground, fantastic. Whipping out the dollies, unbelievable. Gonna just go and spray as much as he can, and he's gonna go and pick up an unbelievable plus two or three. He can't even count. He's got the PP19 camo right now. He's just gonna go even more ham status with this weapon, just killing everybody in front of him. Unbelievable plus headshot. This is insane. Getting more and more and more, picking up more kills, just holding down that left button and he's going to pick up an absolutely amazing accolade. Coming in at number four, we've got XX Nightmare on Junk Flea One Man Army with a fairly unique clip. He's on double, he's on a double kill right now. He's gonna take a couple shots, third time's the charm, gets the multi. Great flesh scope for the ultra. Now looking for the good old fantastic. Gets that one. Now gets the unbelievable, unbelievable plus. He's gonna miss a couple shots, but he's gonna go and get it in the end. And from that, you think, oh, okay, it's a pretty good clip, but it's what happens after. It's the same life, he's got the LNA 6A1, and he's gonna go and start the streak again. Gets the double kill, sees the guy spawn, gonna go and get him on the second shot for the multi. Now the ultra right in his sights for the fantastic. Now just going back and forth, misses a couple shots, eventually gets it, decides against going picking up that weapon, just gonna use the L9 for the unbelievable, and now just one person left, goes and picks up an unbelievable plus for back-to-back -back unbelievable pluses to end the game absolutely fantastic clip now coming in the bonus spot we have got Ego on power surge s and and the funny part of this clip is just a little bit up ahead I'm just gonna quickly explain my situation at the moment I'm not uploading for the, literally the next two to three weeks if this is the only video you guys will practically get maybe another episode of the top five plays but after that I'm gonna go on a really solid schedule you choose I use top five plays every week normal commentaries some other games it's basically gonna be seven videos a week I'm gonna be absolutely insane so hopefully you guys are up for it now going into the actual bonus clip he's just following this guy and this guy completely oblivious gonna spray a ton of bullets into him in the end doesn't even get the kill the guy with a submachine gun who should win just the headshot with a knife will go and secure that one now coming in at number three we've got xx turn on power surge s and d Use an LNA 6A1 and a G23 Polish. On a multi-kill already, right behind the enemy lines, picks up the Ultra. Now looking for a Fantastic, and that Fantastic is very much secured with that mid-air shot. Dropping down, picks up the Unbelievable, got the L9. It's gonna go and quickly get the Unbelievable Plus, but the clip ends really abruptly because XX Turner got a free kill and he decided to go and cut it out, and I respect him for that. Now coming in, in number two, we have got Penis. Already on a multi kill, ultra kill, got the UMP45 in hand. He's gonna look for the fantastic, but gets an unbelievable as well. Unbelievable plus with that gun to go and make it a little bit sweeter. The Thompson's time to go and shine. This gun has a massive magazine. Unbelievable plus plus headshots for days. Reloading, continuing on his spree. Goes and picks up the HP pack, but he doesn't really need it. He's only gonna suffer just a tiny bit of damage. Gonna go and whip out the alien gun as well. Go to go and secure a bit more with that. One person in his sight, he gets taken down, but in the end, he can't go and pull off just one more kill to keep the streak going, but still, an absolutely fantastic clip. But coming in at number one, we've got IG Pinto, and he's in a 1v5 clutch situation. Now down to a 1v4 at the moment. He is the master of search and destroy, in my opinion, and in this clip, you're gonna go and see why it's absolutely insane. So 1v4, he's got about 58 HP, he's got 30 bullet, he's got a lot of bullets, should I go and say. But with this accuracy, he really doesn't need all of them. Picks a headshot all the way across. I don't even think the headshot was really needed because the guy was so low. But in the end, goes for the style points, picks up a really nice kill. And now he's going to take it really slow. 1v3 situation at the moment, 58 HP and he sees one person in that room spraying his weapon as much as he can 
31 HP now down to a 1 V2. It's got to go and make some really smart decisions because when you think about it, there's a 50-50 chance that an enemy is going to be at either bomb site. So if he goes A, he goes to B, doesn't really matter. He may be taken on one of those enemies. More than likely he is. So he's got to go and take it really slow. Hopefully shoot the guy from behind or something along those lines. Get the bomb down because there's only 29 seconds on the clock. And hopefully go and delay it out just a little bit more without trying to go and take on both of the enemies. However, in clips like this, it generally doesn't really go to plan. He's moving towards the bomb site just really sneakily using that walk function so he doesn't make any noise. He's looking towards this doorway and sees a flash of bullet fire going towards the bomb site. Only four seconds left on the clock, just enough time to go and get the bomb planted. Now down to a very, very, very tense situation. He goes and picks up one, one HP on him left. Gonna just go and jump off. Goes and gets a ridiculous couple of shots on that guy. They pull off the 1v5 clutch with barely any HP. Securing the number one spot of the top five plays of the week. Now, hopefully, you guys go and enjoy this episode of the Combat Arms Top 5 Plays of the Week. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating if possible. And hopefully, cross your fingers, the new episode, week 137, uh, will be out next week. More than likely, it will not, so sorry for that. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.